Everyone is telling you that it takes years of experience to break into the cloud. But the truth is, it's actually pretty easy to become a cloud engineer. Five years ago, I was exactly where you are right now. Overwhelmed, confused, and wondering if I had what it takes. But then I discovered something that changed everything. Hi, I'm Suleiman. I've worked in tech for over a decade. And today I help businesses scale and secure the AWS cloud infrastructure through my consultancy. I've discovered that cloud engineering isn't just getting easier to break into, it's actively being designed for beginners. In fact, it took me just 90 days to go from complete beginner to landing my first job as a cloud engineer. And here is the best part. It's even easier today than it was five years ago. In this video, I'm going to give you the seven reasons why becoming a cloud engineer is actually pretty easy. And if you stay until the end, I'll share the exact roadmap that you need to get started in 2025. By the way, grab our beginner's guide to the cloud and join over 10,000 engineers accelerating their cloud career for free, link in the description. Firstly, the job market is on fire and not in a bad way. Just last week on LinkedIn, there were nearly 3,500 open cloud engineer jobs and that's only scratching the surface. Tens of thousands of roles across tech now require cloud expertise. Why? Well, because everything in tech is built on the cloud. By next year, 95% of new digital workloads will run on cloud native platforms, up from just 30% in 2021. These platforms are designed for the cloud, breaking applications into smaller, flexible pieces that run more efficiently and scale easily compared to traditional systems. This shift is reshaping how businesses work. In fact, 93% of companies say cloud native computing is transforming their operations letting them innovate faster and respond to change more easily. With cloud engineering roles growing by 27% annually and salaries on average paying $143,000 per year, the demand for cloud professionals is huge. It's not just tech companies, banks, hospitals, and startups all need cloud experts, making this one of the most rewarding and accessible career paths for today. Secondly, you can start building with zero investment. Think about how traditional IT works. If you wanted to build anything meaningful, you'd have to buy expensive servers, licenses, and any other equipment. The upfront cost was humongous. And for individuals and even small businesses, this was a deal breaker. But with cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP, they have flipped that model on its head. They've made enterprise level technology accessible for everyone. They offer free tiers so you can use their servers without spending a penny. For instance, you could experiment with setting up a database that can handle thousands of users or create an application that scales automatically to meet your customer demand all for free. This means you can jump in, test things out and learn by doing. If you're a student or someone looking to switch careers, the tools are right there. These are the same tools companies are using to run massive applications. It's a great equalizer because now you're not limited by your resources, only by your willingness to learn. Next, if you're switching from another career, you can leverage your existing skills. Maybe you've worked in IT support or networking. You could have even dabbled in programming before, right? Now, the truth is cloud engineering draws on so many transferable skills that your background might actually give you a unique advantage. Let's say you've worked in IT support. You probably already know how to troubleshoot systems and solve problems under pressure. Now, those same skills are crucial in cloud roles, or maybe you are familiar with networking, concepts like subnets, VPNs, and firewalls. Well, guess what? Cloud platforms use those exact same ideas just in a cloud environment. And what about programming? Well, I actually used to work as a front-end developer and switching to cloud meant I was able to pick up infrastructure's code using Terraform fast because I was already familiar with JavaScript. That said, do you need to be an expert coder? The answer is no, not at all. A lot of my colleagues didn't know how to code and they were doing just fine. Cloud engineering involves configuring tools, automating processes with scripts. It's much more approachable than people think. But if you already got a background in programming, you definitely have a head start. And if you're looking to make the switch to the cloud, then check out my Cloud Engineer Academy. I've poured my decade of experience in tech to take you from zero to job ready 
ready cloud engineer in just 12 weeks. And don't just take my word for it. Go check out Jay's story. He went from banking to cloud hired in just a few months. You will also get a portfolio of real world projects and monthly live workshops with myself where you can ask me any questions. Link in the description. Now, another reason that makes it pretty easy to become a cloud engineer is how quickly you can achieve results. Now, in some tech fields, it can take weeks or months of work before seeing your efforts pay off. But in the cloud, the feedback is almost immediate. You can deploy a project today and see it in action right away. For example, let's say you wanna host a website. With tools like Amazon S3 and CloudFront, you could get a static site online in less than an hour. Now, if you're interested in APIs, you could use AWS Lambda with API Gateway to set up a serverless endpoint in a single day. These quick wins aren't just satisfying, they're also great for building Building your confidence. This ability to create functional projects quickly also helps you when you're job hunting. You see, I'm quite outspoken on the fact that cloud certification are as good as worthless. Now, of course, I'm being slightly hyperbolic, but I've seen so many applications and I, of course, run my own cloud education company with over 300 students. You are not a job-ready cloud engineer if you have got four AWS certifications. You should only see them as a way to bridge your knowledge gap and give you a structured learning path. And that also means that you can't complain that it's hard to land a job or the job market is so tough for me and I'm struggling when A, you haven't even been building projects and B, are you even applying to 20, 30, 50 jobs every day? So yes, get certified, but instead of just learning the theory, showing employers you can build projects and applying for roles at high volume is what will land you a job. Next, in terms of the path to becoming a cloud engineer, it's pretty flexible. Now, based on my experience, one of the myths is that you need a computer science degree or years of IT experience to get started. That's just not the case. What really matters is your ability to learn cloud concepts to then use the tools effectively and build projects. And there are so many ways to learn cloud skills. You could take online courses. Hint, hint, I've got the number one cloud community with over 300 members. You can watch YouTube tutorials for free. Boot camps are also another option, but they are quite expensive. But there isn't like a set path that you have to follow to land a job. It's not like medical students in the UK, where you have to go to college for five years and then two years of practical training before you become a qualified doctor. Just start small, learn and set up a few projects and gradually tackle more complex challenges. Challenges. It's a self-driven approach, but with so many resources available, it's completely doable. Next, the learning never stops. It's a never-ending treadmill. Even after you land your first job, you are constantly learning because cloud providers like AWS are always rolling out new features and services. There's new tools and technologies coming out in the industry. But here is why that's actually a good thing. Everyone, even experienced engineers, they are constantly learning something new. Now, when AWS releases a new service or a new feature to an existing service, guess what? Someone like myself with 10 years of experience is just as new to it as someone who just got started yesterday. This constantly evolving landscape actually makes it easier to break into cloud engineering for three reasons. Well, firstly, cloud providers know they need to make their new services easy to learn or nobody will even use them. That's why they provide tons of free training materials, interactive labs, and sandbox environments. They are literally investing in making their platforms beginner friendly. Secondly, companies expect their cloud engineers to be learning on the job. Now, unlike some other tech roles where you're expected to know everything on day one, cloud teams understand that continuous learning is part of the job. And this makes them more open to hiring and training newcomers. Thirdly, it keeps your day-to-day -day job exciting. You're not just stuck doing the same task day after day. Instead, you are constantly expecting exposed to new technologies and challenges. One week, you might be working with container orchestration. The next, you're exploring machine learning services, or you're migrating from on-prem to cloud. And finally, it's actually pretty easy to become a cloud engineer because you can work from anywhere. That's what it unlocked for me. As long as I take my laptop with me, I can travel wherever I want and work from any time zone. Now, I was recently traveling to Dubai, and I do that quite often because I found changing your environment once every few months helps with productivity but I was still working from out there 
every single day because cloud work is inherently tied to the internet. And so the job is remote friendly. Think about it. When you're managing cloud resources, deploying infrastructure or monitoring systems, you can do all of this remotely. Your physical location just doesn't matter. So instead of being limited to local jobs, you can work for companies anywhere in the world. This flexibility also means for those of you who live in the US, you can move to a smaller city with a lower cost of living, but keeping your high paying tech job. And the best part, the remote friendly nature of cloud work isn't just a trend, it's here to stay. With the cloud computing market growing at 16% annually and companies fully embracing remote teams, the opportunities are continuously expanding. And it's not just limited to traditional tech hubs. While Silicon Valley companies still lead the way, we're seeing massive growth globally. Take the Middle East, for example. They are investing billions in technological infrastructure. Projects like the Line in Saudi Arabia require enormous cloud engineering talent. These ambitious projects projects mean you can access opportunities worldwide because at the end of the day, everyone wants top talent. In fact, I'm always looking for top talent for my own companies. Now, if you want to take advantage of this opportunity to get ahead, then check out this video right here where I share the complete roadmap to becoming a cloud engineer.